Hi, it's another great day in Southern California, and today we're talking about the five main differences between rabbits and jackrabbits, or hares, because of course jackrabbits are also called hares. So both rabbits and jackrabbits, they're small, furry, plant-eating mammals. They come from the order Lagomorpha and the family Leporidae. They're distinguished by having full furry feet and two pairs of incisor teeth. The rabbit and jackrabbits physical form and behavior is all about being on the defense. And basically, they're designed to avoid predators from both the sky and the ground. So number one is what they look like. There are three types of jackrabbits. This one here is a black-tailed jackrabbit, Lepus californicus, or Lepus californicus. A jackrabbit, well, it's not a true rabbit, it's called a hare. They're relatively large, about 24 inches long, and they weigh between three and six pounds. And you recognize them by his slender body, long ears, long powerful hind legs. In fact, he can run up to 45 miles an hour. And jackrabbits, they typically live to be about five years old. And rabbits, on the other hand, there are 10 different genera of rabbits and 25 different species. Now, 17 of these species are called cottontail rabbits. And this rabbit here is a desert cottontail, Silvalagus autobanii. So rabbits are smaller than jackrabbits. They're only about 15 to 18 inches long. They weigh about one to two pounds. And you recognize him because he's shorter. He's got a more roundish body. He's got shorter ears and legs. And he's usually found squatting closer to the ground than a jackrabbit. Now rabbits, they typically only live for about two years. And most of them, die from predation. Number two, where they are found. So jackrabbits only live in North America, mostly in the western United States and Mexico. They're very common out in California, Arizona, Nevada deserts, open plains, and foothills. They're also nocturnal, so they're active at night, and they hide during the day under the shallow depressions in the grass or the bushes. They do not live in burrows like rabbits. And at night, they hang out in the open areas they use their acute hearing and fast speed to avoid predators, but it's not unusual to find them in the daytime around the edges of shrubs and bushes. So rabbits live on every continent except Antarctica, and our cottontail here lives almost everywhere in North, Central, and South America. They prefer tall grasslands, but can be found in woods, forests, meadows, deserts, tundra, and wetlands. Now in contrast to jackrabbits, rabbits are diurnal, or more specifically, they are crepuscular, which means they are mostly active only during the twilight hours of dusk and dawn. And they like to hide under low-lying conifers and brush, and they don't wander very far for their own protection. Now rabbits create their own homes in a network of tunnels under the ground, which are used both for nesting and sleeping. In fact, the Spanish word for rabbit is conejo, which comes from the Latin word cuniculus, which means burrow or low tunnel. Number three, what they eat. Jackrabbits eat shrubs, small trees, and forbs, which are herbaceous flowers. Jackrabbits forage in groups, so they rely on the eyes and ears of each other for protection. Rabbits eat pretty much the same things as jackrabbits, except they eat a much more diversity of plants and vegetation, like stems, branches, and seeds. And unlike rodents, who use their front paws to eat, cottontails eat while sitting on all fours, and they use their nose to move the food around while they eat. Number four, what they are called. Jackrabbits were originally called jackass rabbits because of their long ears, which look like jackass ears. Males are called a jack, females are called a jill. Sometimes they're also called a buck and a doe. Baby jackrabbits are mostly called leverets, but also called bunnies, kits, kittens, or nestlings. A group of jackrabbits is also called a warren, a nest, colony, bevy, bury, drove, or trace. Now rabbits, well the males, they are called a buck, and the females are called a doe. A group of rabbits is called a herd, and baby rabbits are called bunnies, and a group of babies is called a fluffle. Number five is the most important difference between jackrabbits and rabbits, is how they have their young. So jackrabbits give birth in above ground nests which are typically lined with fur. The female's gestation period is about 40 days, 
which allow the babies to almost fully develop inside the womb. And the young, they're born furry, with their eyes open, and they begin hopping almost immediately. This feature is what makes a jackrabbit a hare instead of a rabbit. They need to be fully developed in order to avoid predation since they are born out in the open grasslands. And females, they leave their young only after a few weeks. Rabbits, on the other hand, give birth in shallow nests covered with grass and fur, and the female's gestation period is only 30 days, which does not allow the babies to fully develop. The babies are born pink, hairless, and blind, but after three weeks, they will be ready to leave the nest. This allows female rabbits to have babies as often as three weeks, which is necessary since so many bunnies die of predation from snakes, hawks, coyotes, and other wild animals. And for a bonus, number six, what do they taste like for dinner? While both jackrabbits and rabbits are edible, jackrabbits, they have red meat, very similar to wild deer venison, and rabbits, they have white meat like chicken, but with a very distinct flavor. Well, there you go. That's the difference between our rabbits and our jackrabbits. All right. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day. Bye.